people get quite scared because they think she is. Or regular the SMP have only been in part for less than two months. All the regular guests say about that rapidly. Uh, demanding more English cuts, demanding more English money, and demanding even more powers for Scotland. And demanding another referendum, despite the Scottish people overwhelmingly voting to actually um, stay in the UK. I don't know who this woman thinks she is. She is a disgrace. Um, and I believe that we should just let them go on it. Because let Nicholas get us have a referendum, get the Scots out, and then uh, get, get the Scots out, and then Scotland will bank up itself pretty quickly, darn quickly. They always run out anyway, so. And uh, major businesses have said that they will pull out of Scotland if Scotland comes in the so many of the uh, eight SKUs that we in Scotland will pull out and move south of all that. That will cost jobs. Um, and I think many Scottish people will move down south because they'll fear for their jobs, they'll fear for their life, and they'll fear for their future. And the money supply will either be controlled by London or Brussels. So Scotland will actually be independent. It will just, it will just, Scotland will become uh, just a piece of the EU jigsaw, whether the EU wants Scotland to or not. And Nicola Sturgeon's dream of a socialist utopia will be complete. She believes, I mean, most socialists just think there's endless money. Well, people who live in the real world, like you and me, uh, believe that we should spend within our means and that we should actually be responsible, etc. Mm. But that's why it was excursion and the SP well, can afford all these freebies because of English taxpayers' money. Um, just let them get on with it. Just let, let them have a referendum and just see how they go in a few years and then. Uh, uh, so you know, be scratching at the door to come back in. Uh, that's what I believe anyway.